Hi folks, welcome back. This is uh, going to be a very small video about uh, PCB designing and I'm going to specifically talk, talk about one pitfall that everyone should watch out for while designing single-sided PCBs, especially when you're trying to mount a through-hole and an SMT package on the same side of the board. I, I myself didn't know of this and I ended up creating or fabricating about five or six PCBs at home and running into this issue. So this is something that you should really watch out for before creating your own PCBs. And this, this mostly is for PCB fabricating at home because that's the only time you would ideally would do a single sided PCB with a uh, with a through hole and SMT packages on the same same side of the PCB, especially when you're sending it sending things out to a fabrication house, uh, you usually end up doing double sided PCBs, and this should not be a problem. But this is something you definitely should watch out for. So let's get into what the issue is and how to fix it. So here we go. What I'll do is I'll open Kaikat with a sample project and create a very simple schematic which will have one TQFP, uh, 32 pin TQFP and a dip package. Well, the, the circuit itself won't make sense, but uh, I'm, I'm just here to figure out actually how to place these, these components. And we can do that with any any device. So let's, let's try with a simple um, and for 0, 0, NAND gate and we'll make sure that this we place this in a S SOIC or uh, uh, SMT package and then we'll use a similar 4000 series gate which we'll place in a dip package and let's see how that works out. All right, this is just a simple schematic. I'll create a few nets just to make sure that we are connecting these two together. And I think that's about it. That's, that's all we would need. I'm saving this. I generate the net list. Generate. Save. Save sample.net. Yes, I want to annotate. Okay. Okay. And there we go, the necklace is created. Now let's jump into CVPCB and associate our footprints or actual packages with the devices. So we have our two chips here. We have one SOIC associated with that. And then the other one, let's go to socket, socket tip and choose the 14 pin actually yeah sorry I have to change this to a 14 pin which doesn't matter really C and we have 14 pin that makes sense now let's just save this and minimize and then open this in PCB new yes please Let's import our netlist. Fantastic, we have that. And let's go into our board. Okay, that makes sense. Now, as you can see here, we have our two packages. One is a SMT package and another is a DIP package. And let's try connecting this these two nets together. We need to switch to the front copper to draw the track between these two. And sure enough, that works. The pad for the SMT or the footprint for SMT is, is, is placed correctly. As you can see, the numbering goes anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. And similarly, 
for the tip package the numbering goes counterclockwise perfectly works fine now there is a slight problem here because what is happening is for this to work and for you to be able to solder the the pin onto this track you have to insert the dip package on the on the same side of the SMT as as the SMT and then solder it on top on on the top side of the of the of the dip package and not from from under it well if you like to do it then yes you are done and everything is fine but let's say you want all the soldering to be or you want to insert the dip package from the other side of the board and you will literally have the SMT packages on one side or the copper side of the board and dip packages on the other side of the board and in that scenario oh well someone might think oh just, let's just flip this guy and redraw the tracks on the back side well that would work but aha uh -huh, this is the gotcha the moment you flip it if you see the numbering now is reversed and no matter what you try or what orientation you try if you print the copper layer as is there is no way this is going to work because you will never be able to place your SMT device in this orientation and that's it your PCB is is a fail so for this to actually work one way is you fabricate this this layer mirrored well that's one way of doing it but the twi flipping it twice is, is, is a slight complicated so I undid everything and this is a very key thing that you should remember whenever you're designing a single sided PCB with both SMT and a dip package never flip the SMT device always flip the dip package instead and now okay I'm going to go back to the front copper layer and connect it together now when you look at this now you should always make sure that your SMT, SMT devices are on the front side of the PCB and the dip devices will always be on the back side and once you do that you should be able to fabricate your your PCB and you should be fine that's it folks just a very key thing to remember and hope that would save you some time and some agony over wasted PCBs until next time have a good day